Right. Yay. Thank you, Haley. Thank goodness it is at least today and mm -hmm. tomorrow starting to feel a little more like fall. A little bit. Yeah. Farmers markets, though, still going strong through at least another month or so. But after that, mm -hmm. we're kind of talking about prolonging your farmer's market bounty. So who do we have with us today? Well, lucky for us and for you, Gina Rancourt is here from Whole Health Nutrition. This is so exciting. So tell us what's going on here. Yeah, good morning. So we're chatting about farmer's markets and really how to extend the shelf life of the bounty that you can get at your local farmer's market. Um, you know, not only are you getting locally grown produce, um, it's going to taste really, really good, be super fresh, but also it retains the most nutrition that way. Mm -hmm. Versus, you know, if you get something that's been sitting on a truck or on a ship even, it's not going to be as as nutrient dense. And it's fun too. Yeah, yeah. and it's fun. So fun. Definitely is. You want to make sure you get there early so you get the best variety, mm -hmm. the or best pick. Or else yeah. it's going to be gone. Exactly. I also highly recommend that you go to your farmer's market before you do your other shopping at your regular grocery store mm -hmm. just because you're never sure what's going to be there. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about some ways that we can extend the shelf life of our farmer's market produce. Let's do it. So first we're talking about drying. So mm -hmm. you can dry all your fruits and vegetables, herbs, you can really go crazy. Yeah. Um, first though, what we have here are some dried oregano. All you need to do at mm -hmm. home is take your fresh herbs, hang them upside down like this, let them dry, you'll have your herbs well into the winter. Wow. How long do you have to dry yeah. it for? It can be anywhere from a week to two weeks really okay. to get oh, it bad. that okay. dry, so not, not too bad. Wow. Okay. okay. Great. Um, with our fruit, you can dry fruit. So dried apples are one of my favorite mm. things. Sounds really good. If you have a dehydrator, that's the best way to do it. But you can also just dry right in your oven. Mm -hmm. um, you can even make your own dried fruit leather, which is pretty fun. I was fun. wondering. I was, wondering yeah. what I was like, what is this? So you can make your own fruit leather as well with that's extra so cool. produce. Wow. It's like a healthier version of a fruit roll-up. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. exactly. Um, also dried vegetables. One of my favorites is going to be sun-dried tomatoes. Yum. Super good. Great staple to have in the pantry. Adds plenty of flavor to mm -hmm. any of your dishes. And if you're drying them in the oven, how do you, I'm, yeah, how do you, I'm like, I'm so illiterate same, same. in all of this. How do you go about doing that? Yeah, so it's going to take a little bit of time to dry them in the oven. Typically, you do a lower temperature for a longer time to really get them dry. Okay. Um, but just look online. There's plenty of resources out there. Good, Google good to know. Yeah. Or go just to wholehealthnutrition.com. Yeah. Or go to wholehealthnutrition.com. <laughs> Um, so next we're talking about freezing some of our produce, another wonderful way to get the most of your produce. Um, when it comes to fruit, things like berries mm -hmm. freeze beautifully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just put them on a cookie sheet like this in a single layer, pop them in the freezer. Once they're frozen, you can then transfer them to separate bags. Add them so to smart. smoothies, baked right. goods. Grapes, strawberries, yeah. I mean, anything. The list goes yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> Back to our herbs here, we have an ice cube tray. Hmm. So what you can do here is add a little bit of water or even olive oil, freeze it, and then pop them right out, add to soups or to you know your pan when you're sauteing just to get yeah. more flavor. And what kind of herb yeah. is in here right now? So this is cilantro right okay. here. Okay, yeah. great. That's really smart. And you can kind yeah. of do that with any? With any herb. Awesome. Basil, too. Awesome. <laughs> well, I like awesome. the olive oil idea. Yeah. yeah. It's really yeah, clever. Yeah. Um, lastly, for freezing our vegetables, mm -hmm. you can always blanch your broccoli, let's say. It just kind of takes away that bite. Um, but you can also grate your vegetables and freeze them. Okay. So right here, we have some grated zucchini. Love some zucchini. Yeah, you can Best. freeze. <laughs> You can freeze that and then add it to things like soups or even baked goods later in the winter sure. if you're craving some zucchini, zucchini bread brownies. <laughs> yes. or brownies or brownies. Oh, come on, who doesn't like that? <laughs> Lastly, we have here some canned goods. So canning is the best way to preserve your fruits and vegetables that you get from the farmer's market. Um, so if you like to make your own jam, mm -hmm. like we have raspberry jam here, or pickles, pickled cauliflower, carrots, uh, green beans. Mm -hmm. You can pickle radishes. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can pickle so anything. <laughs> so you can you can either pick that up from your farmer's mm -hmm. market. Yeah, a, exactly. a lot of vendors will pickle them mm -hmm. themselves, mm -hmm. or you can pickle it yourself. So what goes into doing that? So again, check out some recipes online. I pickled this cauliflower. It's super easy. Yeah. it's water, vinegar, um, some mustard seed, coriander seed. Um, garlic and you just kind of let it sit for a little bit and then 
you're good to go and let it sit and mm. really develops those flavors nicely. Overnight, couple Delicious. days. Yeah, how long? The longer it sits, the better. All the more right. flavor it's going to have. <laughs> <laughs> For there the best. You go. Um, one last thing just about the canning. We want to make sure that you do your research on canning. Um, you want to make sure you're doing it safely. Yes. You can get food poisoning if it's done incorrectly. Wow. So just make okay. sure you, you educate yourself. Good to know. Good huh? tips always yes. from Gina. And Gina, where can uh, people find this again? Yeah, so our website is wholehealthnutritionvt.com. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. Perfect. Definitely and have to check it out. Gina's going to be back actually yes. for another segment as yet. well. We're talking about healthy and quick school lunches mm. for all you parents out there. <laughs> Don't worry, nope. the stress will be gone after we talk to Gina <laughs> in our next segment. So stay tuned.